I'm going to tell you a little bit about plantar fasciitis. This is a super common phenomenon that happens when you end up with a lot of pain in the bottom of your foot. There is a tissue called your plantar fascia, which is on the bottom of your foot. It goes from your heel to about the ball of your foot. And it's really super strong connective tissue that is designed to absorb force. What can happen is when there's too much pressure on that tissue, whether it's because your foot is overpronating, which means that it's flattening too much, or your calf muscles are too tight, that can cause a lot of irritation and over time make it hurt really bad. Sometimes it'll hurt right here on your heel. Sometimes it will hurt somewhere here in your arch, but it can be a nightmare for people when you're up trying to run, trying to be on your feet, trying to take care of life. When you have pain on your feet, it is no fun. So you may be wondering, well, what causes this? There's two main causes of plantar fasciitis. One is having too much tension in your calf. And there's two calf muscles, your soleus and your gastroc. Your soleus is lower down here. Your gastroc is up here. Both of them can be holding muscle tension and then pulling on your plantar fascia as it wraps through your Achilles into the bottom of your foot. And that can be contributing to your problem. This is a common area that is addressed by most physical therapists and a lot of things you find online, so that's great. You may have already started by working on that area. The second and most common um, reason why people end up with plantar fascia, fasciitis is because of the alignment of the leg. When you have tension in the front of your hip and your psoas and iliacus muscles, which lay right here, it causes your pelvic bone to rotate forward. When that pelvic bone is rotated forward, it makes your leg rotate in, which makes your arch end up flat. I'm going to show you that right now. So here I am with a neutral position, but when I have tension here, it's going to pull my pelvis forward like this. And what happens when my pelvis is pulled forward is it rotates my leg in like this, which then rotates my whole lower leg in, which makes my foot pronate. This is called pronation, when your foot goes flat. And then if you're walking around like this all day long with all that pressure on that tissue here on the bottom of your foot, you're gonna end up irritating it. So many people are addressing the bottom of their foot. They might be rolling on you know, a, a water bottle filled with ice. You might be working on a ball. You might be addressing this but this could be actually the symptom and not the cause. So if you're not addressing the chain and what might have caused that, you might end up with this reoccurring problem that just never resolves. <laughs> so looking at what's going on with the hip, making sure that the front of your hip and your hip flexor complex, your iliacus and your psoas is relaxed and happy can make a huge difference in the recovery of your plantar fasciitis for that reason. This is one of the reasons why we recommend the use of the hip hook or using, you know, going to your manual therapist to release your iliacus and psoas so that you can release that tension and, and make sure that your hips are aligned so that your feet are working well and they're not getting irritated in this way.